the busy life and slow down for a second. There's a writing course for women here in Austin that focuses on reconnecting with yourself. It's called Write Your Life as a Woman. And with us today is the workshop instructor, Dean Lofton, an accomplished writer and publicist herself. Thank you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Tell us about the seminar and why it's important to, to uh, adopt that journalistic style of writing. Oh, thanks so much for having me on. Um, the class is just for women. I do occasionally do co-ed classes as well. Mm -hmm. But we write by hand, so it's also a digital escape from uh, constantly being on the computer and on your iPhone. So phones are actually put in another room and we sort of escape from the digital world completely for two hours. And writing by hand is known to be a real grounding meditative experience. Mm -hmm. It's actually a more physical Act, and there are a lot of studies actually show it engages different parts of the brain and uh, helps memory and also um, it leads the thought structures to kind of go in different ways than we get when writing on a computer. Now, I'm not opposed to writing on the computer, but this sure. is just a great daily practice and much more of a spiritual, personal growth practice as well as the actual art of writing. Now explain the, the classes and kind of their format and, and how they start uh, compared to how the women okay. leave, finish. Sure. Well, it's a non-academic class, so we're not at all worried about punctuation, grammar, or spelling. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people think they can't write because they were terrified of writing because of really strict, strict teachers and seeing red marks on papers and mm -hmm. being told they weren't talented or weren't good enough. But actually, everyone is a writer. If you can speak, you can write. It's simply putting words on paper that you normally just put out into the air with your voice. Sure. So uh, women, I find, go through this class um, come out knowing themselves better, feeling stronger and more confident in their own voice, and getting a lot of clarity about where they are in their life and where they want to go in their life. Mm -hmm. And you guys, uh, re you can read aloud, but it's not mm -hmm. a have to, right? Exactly. We actually write and read aloud in class. You can always pass if you don't feel like sharing what you particularly wrote about that time. And we do have kind of an understood confidentiality of uh, what happens in class stays in class. Sure. And we have a lot of other interesting guidelines that we really set a safe psychic space, which I feel like people need a lot these days that... Um, it's a group of women, and it kind of reminds me in some ways of what it must have been like in, in earlier years of, like, the quilting bee. It's really a community of women um, sort of seeing how they can assist each other in life just by sharing their stories. And they learn as much from each other as they do from any information I bring to the class. And it's a very non-threatening environment. Uh, yes. We want to tell people where to find it. Uh, next three months, you'll be at the Unity Church of Austin off of 290. Uh, on Tuesday nights there. On Tuesday nights there. Uh, and then on Wednesdays during the day, I have a day class at the Writing Barn. And these are both in sort of South Austin. Okay. And they are four-week sessions, uh, $400. We, right. And two to three-hour classes, exactly. right? Exactly. All right. Thank you very much for being with us this morning. Thank you so much.